Hey guys, Sock here from Sock eTicket. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some detailed differences between One UI 3.0 versus One UI 2.5 and older versions. So I do wanna concentrate on the battery settings and device care settings. I'm talking about stuff like this. If I go to my device care, all right, uh, tap on device care, over here, if I tap on battery and go to power mode, we have these four modes, but when we go over here to this phone, if I go to the device care and if I go to battery, we don't have those four modes anymore. All we have is power savings mode. However, these modes are still available in this video. I'm gonna dive in and show you all these little differences. Some of them are dramatic, some of them are small, but you need to know all about them if you're a Samsung Galaxy owner. All right, so here we have the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now this one is running the public beta one UI 3.0 with Android. Let's, let's go to About Phone, tap on Software Information, and as you can see, there we have it, and there we have it. Now, on this guy over here, we're running One UI 2.5, and here's the software information, uh, One UI 2.5 and Android 10, and what we're gonna do is we are gonna dive in and talk about the device care settings that have changed from One UI 2.5 to 3.0. So let's dive in and look at the subtle and also the dramatic differences inside the uh, device care option because you are going to find something actually new if you're switching from One UI 2.5 and going to the beta for now. So here's the device care. I'm going to tap on it and then here's the device care. I'm going to tap on that as well. Now right now they look the same but if you inspect it carefully right away we're going to see some differences. Now on the top right here we have an information display and here we have that bulb icon. If I tap on this one, normally gives you a couple of tips and tricks on how to make sure your phone is running properly. Uh, for example, protect your phone, see your sleeping applications, about charging and temperature. It gives you small tips. Now, when I tap on this button, it actually gives me much more detailed tips and more information in regards to my smartphone. So over here, we have the app issue history. I can tap on see all. I can see all the applications that gave me an issue, gives me a date for it, and when I tap on it, it tells me exactly what happened on that date. The app actually had crashed, so there was an issue. Okay, the same thing with this one, visual voicemail, app crashed, app crashed on these two dates. All right, so that might prompt you to uninstall a certain application if it is uninstallable, all right? But at least you get some insight if there's any problems with your phone. Uh, then we have the performance optimization history. It says the phone has not been auto restarted and also not manual restarted ever since I upgraded this phone from One UI 2.5 to 3.0. So that's definitely a problem and something I should do. Again, useful information. And then I can swipe down a little bit more. We have this thing right here, which is the same as this one. And we have this one right here, how heat affects your battery. And look, there's a good tip here. Extended use in very hot environments can reduce battery performance and life. So you are gonna be getting these kinds of tips and tricks in One UI 3.0 with more detail when you tap on that button. So that's one difference. I think that's a, a pretty big difference. But then we have some subtle differences. For example, if I tap on the settings menu, by the way, we'll go inside each one of these in a second. But if I tap on the settings menu here, now I can access the app issue history from here, as you can see, all right? Also, I have the same thing here, show icon on app screen, show icon on app screen. Now here, there is a new option that says automation. And here what we have is something known as advanced. When I click on this, and when I click on automation, it kind of takes you to the same place, except we don't have this on One UI 3.0 but then we do have the auto optimization, auto restart, and optimize settings option here. And we got the same things right over here. For example, if I wanna restart my phone, I can enable it from here, that's automatic restart. I tap on it, I can pick dates and time. And it's the same thing over here. If I tap this, that's gonna look the same. So subtle differences in the layout of the uh, menu and the name of the menu. As I said, it says automation, this one says advanced. Everything else here is the same. Now, if we go into the battery, we again have some big differences, quite dramatic ones, in fact. If I tap on this battery here, and if I tap on this one, 
First and foremost, you see the graph right here, okay? This is a two layer graph, so if I can swipe over, that's my last seven days, and that's my usage since full charge. If I wanna see this option here, I have to tap on battery usage on this side, and then I can access the last seven days uh, option here, as you can see, okay? If I tap on these individually, uh, you know, you get a breakdown at the bottom, for example, okay? So that's the same thing as this one right here, but it shows at the bottom here. So this one is a little cleaner. It's a, it's a bigger uh, and more pronounced display. And then at the bottom here, we have all these options. Now with this option here, if I were to go back, uh, we do have the same options here at the bottom, but here's a dramatic difference. When I go to power mode, we have four modes. We have the high performance mode, uh, which utilizes maximum battery. We got the optimized mode, which is balanced, which is a very good option. Then we got the medium power savings mode and maximum power savings mode. If you look over here, we don't have the power option anymore. What we have is we simply have the power saving mode. So if I go in here, I can enable the, enable the power saving mode. First, I can enable the options that I wanna activate for that power savings mode. So do I wanna turn off the always on display? Yes. Do I wanna limit the CPU to 70%? Yes. Then I can turn this on and that's my power savings mode. Uh, honestly, it looks a little bit more simple and looks something like the iOS where we have that low power mode on the iOS side. But over here, if I go to my medium power savings mode, this is where I can make the same modifications, okay? Uh, limit CPU speed to 70% is the same here. Turn off always on display is the same here and other options at the bottom. However, as you can see, we don't have the high performance or the maximum power savings mode anywhere over here. So you can actually access those settings. First and foremost, for the high performance mode, what you have to do is you have to go back out here and tap on more battery settings. And what's gonna happen is enhanced processing is the same as high performance mode with slight variations in the underlying code but again, you get faster processing for most demanding apps and games, uses more battery. So that's what you need to have enabled if you keep high performance on, on your One UI 2.5 or, or older One UI versions. And then of course, there's the maximum power savings mode. That's something that's gonna be dumped into the actual quick toggles display. You'll be able to press it and activate maximum power savings you also have that enhanced processing option here. You can go for high performance on and off right here, simply renamed uh, to enhanced processing. Now, if I were to swipe over, now if I swipe over, I'm supposed to be what is known as the minimal battery use mode, which is supposed to be in here, but they took it off. You might see it. I'm not seeing it on this public beta that I have, but I do have a phone here that is running the developer's beta it has it, it's known as the minimal battery use, as you can see. Let me just increase the brightness a little bit, let me put it like that. Now basically, when I tap on this, that activates the maximum power savings mode. So the phone turns into a black and white mode and it just turns off everything and gives you the basics. Look at how, how long it's taking to activate that mode. Uh, let's just wait for it, that's it. That's the maximum power savings mode. Now the same thing has been renamed to minimal battery use here. So if I tap on this, look at how quickly it activated that mode. So that's a huge difference right there, the speed. Again, if I turn this off, again, it's gonna take its time. With this one, use power normally, boom, we're good to go. So there's definitely some performance enhancements also in One UI 3.0. Now, like I said, you may not see that option in public beta, but it is here and it's probably gonna be back. It's gonna be known as the minimal battery use. So those are a bunch of battery differences. Let's go back here, look at other stuff. Uh, let's go down here, okay. Device care, device care. We do have another difference here. If you look at the storage option, now everything is color coded again, just like iOS. This is the same setup that I have seen on iOS with the color coding. So it shows you, for example, the apps, that's the green color, it's taking 30 gigabytes and it shows it in here 
uh, in relative to the uh, total storage. Here is just a green color. You do get the breakdown, but here is much more detailed. So more information, and over here, I have access to my, my trash, my cache files, my duplicate files, and my large files. And if I tap over here, advanced, I got a couple things in here. Now this one looks just like that one, okay? If I tap advanced here, let's see what we see. So we see a little bit more detail, just a different look. Uh, but the main screen, I think this is much more meaningful. Now let's go back to the main screen of device care. Let's get memory, okay? Looks like these guys look the same. That was much quicker to load, I think, okay? If we do clean, clean, let's see if it's any quicker. Uh, looks like they're almost the same. I did tap this before I tap this one. This is done as well, so that's good. Uh, device protection is almost the same. As you can see, the names are different. It says device protection, it says security. All right, so that's what I wanna look at in this video. Like I said, there's a bunch of changes, especially when you go to the back, there's just, just way too many changes here. You gotta make yourself familiar with these things, especially the power savings mode and all this stuff right here and the new toggles that we have here, enhanced processing, maximum power or whatever, okay? I'll be making more videos going into the depth of One UI 2.5 versus 3.0, so stay tuned. Any questions, anything you're wondering, drop it down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day. Make sure to check out my other One UI 3.0 videos as well. I'll drop a link to the playlist down below. All right, have a fantastic day.